Hello, America. I'm Madeline Hubbard, and it's time for your Just the News Now update. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating a whistleblower complaint from a former Orange County election official who alleged that felons illegally voted, deceased voters requested and received mail-in ballots, and multiple ballots were dropped off without question. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court is scheduled to hear a case filed by an evangelical former postal worker who quit the Postal Service after he was threatened with termination over his refusal to deliver packages on Sundays. Briefs are pouring into the court backing the former postal worker, and he is receiving widespread support from elected Republicans. In Congress, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan announced the subpoena of former Disinformation Governance Board head Nina Jankowicz. Other Biden administration officials were also subpoenaed as part of Republicans' ongoing efforts to expose what they call the weaponization of the federal government. Finally, Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy said he thinks at least half of the federal workforce needs to be fired. He is proposing eliminating the Education Department and moving some federal agencies outside of D.C. To find more headlines like this, sign up for our daily newsletter at justthenews.com newsletter. And be sure to check out Just the News, No Noise with John Solomon and Amanda Head, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Real America's Voice.